Hello and welcome to Red Stapler channel. In this episode, we'll work on creating a vertical timeline in numorphic style using only CSS from scratch without JavaScript at all, and it's responsive too. Ready? Let's check it out. So let's walk through the current HTML structure of the example page. First, we'll have a wrapper div, which will contain the whole timeline. Inside, we'll use a list tag and assign the timeline class to it. For each list item, we'll use HTML details tag and assign the panel class. The event timeline will be in summary tag and the description is in the body. So here's what it looks like currently. Just a simple list item with expandable details. Let's work on the CSS. First, I will set the width and max width. And then set the display to flex and center all the element inside. I will remove the list bullet point by setting list style to none and add some padding, position to relative, and 100% width. For each item, I will set the margin bottom to 50 pixels, position to relative, and flex display. Then for each panel, set the width to 46%. I don't set it to 50 because I want to have some spacing. Then set the border radius and overflow hidden to prevent the content from overflowing. Then set the position and background color. And box shadow. I will set the bright color at the top left side and darker color at the bottom right to create a neomorphic effect. Next, I will add some padding to the text inside the panel. And then, for each summary tag, I will set the display to block and remove the default decoration style from summary tag by setting user select and outline to none. Also, set the cursor to pointer. Then, adjust some padding and margin. and add smooth transition when user click the item to expand. Finally, set the font weight to bold the text. I will also adjust the margin, padding, and border when the panel is in the expanded state. Also create a hover effect by changing the background color. Okay, looks much better now. Next, I will create the actual timeline line. I will use before pseudo element and set both top and bottom to zero. Then 
and place it in the center by setting left to 50% and position to absolute. Set the empty content for the pseudo element and width to 5 pixel. Then set the background and box shadow. Almost there. Next, we'll work on the point on the timeline. Again, I will use pseudo element. Set the empty content, width and height and border radius to 50% to create a circle shape. Then place it on the timeline by setting position to absolute, top, left and margin. Also set the background color. Then set the Z index to make this element appears on top, and then add a box shadow. Finally, we will put every event items on the right side of the timeline by setting justify content to flex n. All done. Let's see the result. So that's all for this tutorial, hope you guys enjoy. If you love it, don't forget to like or subscribe our channel. Thanks for watching, see you next episode. Bye!